that I'm at an all time. <laughs> It's your boy SNTV and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I have somewhat an unusual unboxing, but we are going to be unboxing it anyways. I mean, it doesn't belong on this channel. This channel's like pranking and shit. But anyways, um, I'm trying to center it. This is an airsoft sniper, most likely, because I think it is. Because I bought this like, I think like four days ago, and I've been waiting it out. And today I just got home and it was right there, so I was like, grab the camera, grab my knife, which I couldn't find. I can't find it, the one day I need it. Can't find it, so what are you gonna roll? Well, with the normal knife. And I was good to unboxing it. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of tape everywhere. As you can see, it says 18 year old enough, because it says it right here. And I'm totally 18, so let's get to it. In this letter, it says, if you have a, if you have problem, if you have problem with any of this item in the package, please contact us and we will help you with fast replacements. Please contact us, blah, 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 and shit like that. So, you also get an extended warranty and discount promotion. Please go to blah, blah, blah. And if you like our product, you can help us out and other airsoft players by writing your review on the product page. Bullshit like that. And then it says thank you on the bottom. It also comes with BBs. I did not order these. I think this is like an appreciation gift. Like, for buying it. I didn't order these. I ordered a different type. I don't know if this is good. It's said, it's called, they call it metal tag. 0.20, 5,000 rounds. Grand BBs. I wanted the point thirty six because I've heard that they're good and what I've seen from videos. So anyways, let's get this out and I'll show you what I got. It's a bolt action M62. Right. This is the gun I got. M62. Camera's kind of bent a little, I think. Yeah, this thing right here. That's the gun I got. So anyways, let's unbox it. Now boxes everywhere. All right, so you get oh, it came with a scope. I bought a scope for no reason. Oh my god, I bought a scope and a bipod. Don't tell me this is an extra mag because I did buy an extra mag. All right, so came with a scope. Comes with the um, the body. Comes with the barrel. A magazine, which is I'm not sure the extra mag. Most likely not. That's just the original mag. So that's what's included in the box, and for the reason. But yeah, uh, I don't know what this shit is. I don't know what that is either. I'm just joking. These are Allen keys. Comes with Allen keys. A bag of sample BBs, which I heard are trash from every airsoft unboxer. So just throw them away. Never thought it'd come with this thing. Speed loader. Never done a recording like this with one hand. Alright, that's 
that. And then we have this stuff. You have longer arms that goes on the back. And let's check out the scope real quick. Oh, it's not even that good. Like you want to look through it. It's not like it's not like it's high quality. It's just built out of bullshit. Yeah, so it's not a good scope. It doesn't even turn on. You can look straight through it. But I'll show you the scope I got. All right. So let's actually let's get this out first. This is the barrel. And uh, oh, what is this? There was some dust on it. Nice rail up here. Is it on safe? Yeah. So, safe is right here. So just put that down, you can't pull the trigger. Push it up. And the trigger has a really solid feel. Yeah, let's get the body out here. Oh, let's check out the mask real quick. Oh my God, this is... Mag, standard mag. Takes, I'm not sure how many rounds. I'll leave it right up there. How many rounds it takes. I already showed you this speed loader. Let's get the body out here. Took me an hour to get it out. So this is the body. It's a pretty big gun. Oh my god. I thought it was going to be smaller than that. You got trigger guard right here. Then you got this shit that can be adjusted. Like that. Then you have to raise it up. Oh, I got to these two. Some shit, come on. You don't want to do it like, like anything. I'll do it just like right there. Because I am going to have to raise my cheek up for the uh, scope that I got. And. I didn't screw it over there, but yeah, that's good. That's a comfortable fit. Alright, so let's. Let's fit it all in. Oh, I forgot the hop. Oh, the hop up is right here. If you all was wondering. That's the hop up. And it does not say the direction on it. It says hop up, and then this way, and then that way. This is this is normal and then hop up. So this one's greater, that way is less greater, I guess. There's this one more thing. A jamming slash cleaning rod. So anything in your barrel gets jammed, just push it in like that, and then if it you need to just clean it real quick, put like a piece of cloth in there, wrap it around, and then just wipe it down. And that would be it. So let's get the box out of here. Nothing else in the box left. So let's see how to put this thing together. There it is, nice fit. Things are a nice fit. And then the screws. I don't see any screws. Let me get two Allen wrenches in there. Allen keys, whatever. And the screws. Are they already in? I'm not sure. Let me set this down. I just don't want it to come out though. Alright, let me do this one real quick. Yeah, the screws are already in. So all you have to do is just tighten it. You got one right here, right there, and then one more right there, beneath or behind the trigger guard. Let's try to fit this. I think there's one more in here. And no, it's not catching on, so I'm gonna use the bigger one. Yeah, it's the bigger one. You have to use the bigger one. For the one near the uh, trigger guard, behind the trigger guard, you need the bigger uh, Allen key. Alright. And that is in. And let's pick it up. Oh, that's down. I just ate at the camera. What if there was a BB in there? Damn, it's a hard pull. Alright, so that's the sniper right there. Alright, so. Got your mag well. Then you bring your mag face up, like this. And this thing has to face toward the barrel. So just as a reminder. And it's not fitting in. So do it like this. Oh, 
Well, there it is. I think it just got stuck. Oh, there it is. That was perfect. It just popped right out. Look. Right here, it just popped right out. Let me try that one more time. How do I even put this in? <sighs> it's taking some time. Oh, yeah. So, right here. Hello? No? Alright. So, you have to push it in first. So, push it in. And that's it. And let's see if it works. Yeah, it, it came out. And there you got You got these things on the side. And that right there, so you can just pull it right out. Alright. We got two sling mounts. Right here. And right here. Oh, you can see that right there. So, don't push it down because you still need to push it forward. I'm going to try out this. A speed loader right here. You know, I have a trap door here somewhere. I know I do. No, that's not the trap door. So it's right here. So just like that. And I put all your BBs in here. So let's pour them in. Perfect. And lift them out up. That's enough. Alright, and then once you do that, they fill in right here. And so then, get the mag and then you just put it down like that. First time ever doing this, by the way. I just went over here. Damn, they go everywhere, bro. Are we full? No. Are we full yet? No. So the bad thing about this mag is that you can't see. Like through, so it really doesn't tell you how much you got in there. Which is what I like about the Novart SSP24. It tells you. Alright, that's another more. And it has it has trouble like reloading the. Uh, uh, we are full. I bet we are. Oh, we just don't have these. Hello? Oh, we don't have these. Yeah, we're full. Most likely full. Alright, so that's the mag. I'm gonna put it aside. BBs are everywhere. So, th this is bad. Starting off. So, anyway. Then. Okay, put it on safe. I mean, don't really have to. Let's put the mag in. Alright. The mag full. I think it takes 27. I'm not sure. Alright, so guys, the chamber around. All you have to do is take it off safety. Pull the thing back. Push it back. And now you are ready to shoot. Put it on safe again. Because I'm not going to fire this thing in the house. But I will take some of this cardboard box and I will put it outside. And I'll set up the camera for you guys. And we'll, we'll shoot it up. So this is full right now. There's one in the... One in it. So let me go get you the bipod and stock that I got. And I'll also show them in this video. Alright? And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I'll be right back. Alright. Oh, my bad. So we got a scope. And I'm going to show you it. That I can see... What's going on? And I can also make it green. Ah, yeah. So that's the that's the one I got. So it's way better than this. Turn it off real quick. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm adjusting the wrong one. And one more. Off. Alright. So uh, this one came in the box. Look through it. I don't even know how to turn it on. I don't even know how it turns on. I got this bipod from Amazon. Everything's in the description down below. And ever since I opened it, I cannot put it back up. I'll show you. Alright, so, which is the way that it's supposed to face this way? Okay. Uh, wrong way, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's 
So, that's the bipod I got. Let me put on the scope real quick and we'll see how it looks even more better. All right, let me show you how it's done. So, you get this thing and then you're gonna have to screw it on. And this is all, this is all based off personal preference. So wherever you like it at. So, like I want my scope to like right here. So, let's say like about there. So that would be this one right here. So then I'd screw this back on in that form. Screw this on. All right. So now you want to get your Allen, your Allen key, and you want to take these off. So, make sure this thing is like that, and then, before you go anywhere, screw them back on, but not all the way down, so you can fix it up. So it, it can't move, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your gun, you're going to aim it down, you're going to turn it on, oh I can't see anything, well I wonder why not, the freaking thing is still on it, okay I need to push it more back, so let's get the allen key, oh well, it's not about the allen key no more, so I still need to push it a little bit more back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and then I'm just going to slide it one more back. I need it to be like, like, these are like, let's say I'm camping in a position where I'm going to need a, first of all, a pro the, the main problem here is this. And then also, I need a bit of cheek rising. So if I put my hand under, it's a bit better. Without my hand, I can't even see through the scope. So, this is based on peripheral, on just your own bullshit. So anyways, it can't go back any more than this. I, ran out, I have run out of space. So I can't push it any more back, run out of space, and I still can't see through the scope. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take off these right here. Because as you can see, damn, they're pretty big. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just going to take off two, and then we're going to see how that is. And it needs the big one right here. But now we're gonna try it like this. Yeah, that's way better. And I even need to push it forward now. Because that was adding, that was, that was just taking so much bulk. All right, so now that we've taken off all this bulkiness right here, as you can see, I can look through the scope perfectly. So I only plan on putting one, and then when I realized that this Cause I need this cause it's rubberized, so I was I just took it off cause it's just unfair. So that would be about the same thickness. So I'm just gonna keep the basic plate on, the comfort one. And let me turn this off. I don't know if you can see through that. Yeah. Let me see real quick. Yeah. 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten down the scope. So let me go in prone position. Alright guys. So I need a box. Perfect. Amazon box. Close it up. And we're gonna draw a smiley face on the back. And we'll see where it hits. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but there's some eyes right there and the mouth, and let's go shoot this thing, because I can't wait. All right, guys, so right now I'm escorting the sniper, and the best way I found to escort the sniper, I just hit that, is by this right here. You can just hold it, and the whole gun picks up, and then we can just go outside and dry fire. My neighbor's right there. My neighbor, and I'm about to shoot him. All right, let's go. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this thing set up on the box, which is most likely gonna be down in there somewhere, like this, something like that. I don't know. Set up on the box. Oh, nope. Right there. I don't know what this gun corona's for. And you can hear my... Definitely a hard pullback. I think I hit it. I was aiming to the right. All the way to the right. Yeah, the scope is not dilated. It's not dialed in yet. But I took three shots. Let's go check them out. All right. So we got nice three, a bit, mm, three holes. I was aiming right there. I was aiming right there because the dry fire shot. The dry one, well, it wasn't dry, I just shot at the ground. It curved off to the left, so I aimed at the right. And I, oh, one went, two went straight through, two. So this is pretty powerful. The hop up was perfect. I didn't really have to do anything with the hop up because it was going straight, but it was curving, and that's because of my scope is not dilated. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it and leave a like. And subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing you guys airsoft videos, which is uh, pretty good. So, well, I mean, airsoft, video, airsoft videos are not really for this channel, but I'll still bring you them. Charge the battery pack. Oh, it's about to die. Anyways, guys, there it is if you enjoyed it. Oh, I just tipped it over. The beauty of my life. And, uh, yeah, it's about to die. Orange tip mandated uh, bullshit in the United States. And, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, there it is. So, yep, that's the gun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.